So happening right now, a dangerous situation in Dearborn Heights. A dangling power pole. Neighbors say they've been complaining to DTE for a week now. Seven investigators Simon Shaket took action for them. And Simon, you're getting results this afternoon. That's right, Glenda. Neighbors reached out to us fearing for their children's safety. We got right to work contacting DTE, explaining just how dangerous this looked out here. As you can see, they are repairing that pole as we speak, moving out the old pole before anything can go wrong. It's scary. I honestly, I wake up at night thinking about it's going to fall over and problems going to cause. It's the dangerous type of hazard families say has caused them to do a double take for more than a week here on the corner of Wilson and Amboy near Beach Daily. Drivers are also passing under it in fear. I don't know why, what the issue is. Uh, it looks like you fall over any time. As a parent, I'm very worried about this. This might fall any second on any vehicle and it's going to that's going to do some damage. Parent Nash Hodge is careful not to let his kids get too close while playing outside. Nash says he first noticed the pole creeping down during an ice storm in mid-April, but little has been done about it. We're still getting calls on, on a semi-regular basis, um, and, and Edison has been out here and they've seen it and they've assessed the damage and they've, they've brought a, a, a replacement pole. They just haven't had time to put it in the ground yet. The fire chief was also talking with us just as DTE was returning our call. They promised to have someone come out right away. A lot of kids, a lot of families, a lot of people are walking up and down the sidewalks. It's a very busy corner, a lot of traffic. Now, prior to us getting involved, DTE couldn't really explain why it took so long to get someone out here and get this fixed. But as you can see, they are hard at work, and they tell us this will all be resolved within the next couple of hours. Reporting live in Dearborn Heights, Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News. Good stuff there, Simon. Glad you're getting some action for them. Thank you very much. The